Here we're asked to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix given as 2, 0, 3, minus 4. So if you see a to the minus 1, that means the inverse of the matrix A. If it was, say, B to the minus 1, it should be the inverse of the matrix B, and so on. First, we'll just take a look at the general approach to finding the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So given the general 2 by 2 matrix represented by A, B, C, D, to get the inverse, it's 1 over AD minus BC, or 1 over the determinant. A and D swap positions, while B and C change signs. So we'll apply that to the matrix we have here. So the given matrix we have is 2, 0, 3, minus 4. So we can see A corresponds to 2, B corresponds to 0, C corresponds to 3, and D corresponds to minus 4. So we're just going to rearrange that matrix according to our given general formula. So it's going to be 1 over a d, which is 2 by minus 4, minus b multiplied by c. So b is 0, c is 3. In the matrix a and d swap positions, so that means 2 and minus 4 with swap positions while B and C change signs. So 0 and 3 change signs. has no effect on 0. 3 just changes to minus 3. Next, we just complete some multiplication and addition here. So our inverse is equal to 1 over 2 by minus 4 is minus 8. Minus 0 by 3 is 0. So that gives us 1 over minus 8, which is minus 1 over 8, times minus 4, 0, minus 3, 2. At this point, you can leave the matrix as it is with the fraction outside. If you wish to multiply in the fraction, you'll be multiplying minus 1 over 8 by each term. So if we multiply in the minus 1 over 8, minus 1 over 8 by minus 4 will give us plus 4 over 8 or plus 1 over 2 if we're to break it down to its lowest term. Minus 1 over 8 by 0 is still 0. Minus 1 over 8 by minus 3 will give us plus 3 over 8. And minus 1 over 8 by 2 will give us minus 2 over 8, which is minus 1 over 4. And that's our inverse completed.